There's a lot of other first-person shooters out there these days to distract you. What you should be doing is playing Doom again, or for the first time. <laughs> Be creative. Play two copies of Doom at once. There's no shortage of Doom releases out there for the PC or a variety of game consoles. This is Doom on the Sega 32X for the Sega Genesis. The Sega 32X gets a bad rap for being a commercial failure and a clunky add-on for the Sega Genesis, but the fact is it works really well if you can get one to work. Most versions of Doom released on consoles back in the early 90s suffer from severe lag. Choppy gameplay, poor visuals, it, they're, they're practically unplayable if you played Doom originally on the PC. Take a look at my review of Doom for the Super Nintendo, which is typically an amazing game console, but Doom does not make that transition well to a 16-bit machine. Doom on the 32X is just like I remember it on the PC. Fast, responsive, quick, bright, easy to see what's going on. This is simply amazing, given that this is a 1994 release of a first-person shooter that I can pick up and play today as if it were brand new. What's behind door number two? Thousands of enemies trying to slaughter you. The same thing is also behind door number one and three and every other door in this game. Basically, don't open doors or touch levers. No matter what you do in this game, you turn around and there's like a hundred bad guys just standing right in front of you. That's, that's part of the fun of this game. Classic Game Room and all of the viewers have Frank in California to thank for not only donating this copy of Doom for the 32X, but a working Sega 32X and that all-important wire that's hard to find to make it work with a Model 1 Sega Genesis. Thank you, Frank. And thanks to all of you guys who donate games to Classic Game Room. It can take weeks or months for them to show up. But you know I leave no game behind. So we got cool reviews of Rocket Knight Adventures for the Genesis, Robot Alchemic Drive for the PS2, Star Master for Atari 2600, and more coming up. As well as numerous Sega 32X reviews now that were rocking the 32X. Doom has been reviewed to death, but it's not hard to see why this game is so much fun. I don't remember the levels as well as I used to, but this game is enormous. They just don't make shooters like this anymore. It's huge. Obviously, this version of Doom does not have multiplayer, but it will keep you occupied for weeks. And you can choose from one of 15 levels right at the first menu here on the 32X five different difficulty settings, and it's extremely playable. It's just very quick and nimble, which was not the case with most of these first-person shooter-style games back in the early days on consoles. One of the reasons that the majority of console releases failed is that you could not see enemies in the distance clearly because one of the things with this game 
is that you're not aiming up or down. If you're pointing your gun in the direction of an enemy, whether they're above you or below you, you will hit them. And you'll frequently open doors and just have waves of enemies surrounding you, so you want to shoot them at a distance as much as possible. Very important. The level designs in this game are amazing, so you'll have these weird angles where you can see enemies in the distance, you can shoot those cans that explode. If for some reason you've never played Doom and you want to see a complex, deep shooter, with an incredible amount of replay value because of all the hidden stuff in the game, Doom is the game to play. So while most people probably don't have working Sega 32Xs laying around, I know there's an excellent version of this game for Xbox Live Arcade. But if you do have a Sega Genesis and working 32X with a wire to connect the two, that's kind of the uh, Achilles heel of that thing, then Doom will only set you back a couple bucks. So thank you, Frank, once again. I was actually sick for a week and wanted to play something familiar and warm and comfortable, cozy. I chose Doom. It's like a hot bowl of comforting chicken soup. Doom.